Uh, Miami. This is Miami. How good is Filthy. this card? This Ooh. is the big fight. This is the big fight. Dustin Poirier and Benoit Saint Denis. That's the big fight. That's the big fight. That Saint Denis guy is a fucking killer. Savage, he's a, he's a such fight. a killer. That guy's such a scary fights, guy. But that that Benoit Saint Denis is a fucking monster. Dude, Michael he was Page. A, he was one of the French. The he was the French version of Navy SEALs, whatever they are in, in France. The French version of special special forces guy. And what he's ranked fourteen, fight number two. And when he was over in America, he's like, "You helped us during World War II." Like he's still thinking about the war. Savage. He's literally, literally talking about how America helped us during World War II. How much of a during dog? His, his post-fight speech. I'm like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What are you talking? I was just different level. By the way, only been training MMA for seven years. But how much of a dog is fucking Dustin Poirier to take that Animal. fight? There's no upside. Animal. A no lot upside. of money. They gave him a lot of money. Of course, you got to back the brain. It's a lot of money. Up, but yeah. still, he could fight anybody. That money. guy right there. That guy right there is a Monster. fucking killer. He's a straight no up killer. No one wants to fight him. No one. When he fought Bonfim, Bonfim makes his UFC debut, knocks out Terrence McKinney, looks like a world beater, looks like he's going to be like the next guy, and then this guy mauls him, Blitzos. just mauls him, just mauls him. In fuck up my boy like, Matt Simola, Christ, fuck starched Matt him, Frivola up, starched him, fucked him up, head kicked him. I was like, Jesus Christ, hated that fight for Matt. He's so good, man, and he's so good so quick for a guy that started taking martial arts so he could be a better soldier. It is fucking insane. To see that guy, like, within six, seven years, become at the top of the heap of the UFC division that's as as stacked talent-wise as any division. 155 is a fucking shark tank. And to go from 14 to 2? Nuts. The UFC's like, nah, you got it. You yeah. got this. Nuts. Nuts. Because no one else wanted to fight this guy. Yeah. No one else wants to fight this guy, and no one wants to fight Dustin either. What's his go-to shit? Everything. Every, Every, Blitz, Creek, you have to he, two things. He's a, he's a great striker. He's, he's, like just, a, he's a killer. He's just an assassin. He knows how to kill people. And he looks like he's selling real estate. He's enough. probably killed people with rocks. You know what I'm saying? Like, he knows how to kill people. He don't give a fuck he about just, cage he fight. Gets What about it his jiu-jitsu? It's good. It's very Everything's good. Everything's good. It's very good. Across he fucked up. Saint Denis, he, he strangled him. I mean, that's how he won that fight. Okay. Bro, he is good at everything. We haven't seen a weak link yet. Now, Dustin might bring out because Dustin's a dog. But it, it makes me think of how important is the mindset. How important is the mindset, not just for fighting, but for developing. Like, when you're developing to figure out how to kill or not be killed, which is what this guy's doing. It's a different mindset. If you've literally been to war, and you're a special forces guy in France, and you've been to war, you're thinking... It's just different. Sharp you're, rods you're, you're not trying stress. to score points and win the round. Mm. and You're trying to figure out how to kill a guy where he can't kill you. You're trying to get so good, so quick, so with no fluff, no bullshit, and execute when you can against trained killers. The mind, it's, mindset is it's not everything, but God Ooh, it's damn, lot. it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a well, go lot. One step fur, go one step further. It's a lot. Think, think of the mindset of Sean Strickland. To go through that horrible fucking childhood. Yep. This is yep. nothing. Yep. This shit. Or Joe Pfeiffer. Same situation. I had Joe Pfeiffer on the podcast. Savage. He told the story of his fucking childhood. Horrendous. So this is just like <clears throat> walking the park. Bro, it's the like they've been they're through. designed for this. Yes. And, you know, I don't know what St. Denis, what his childhood was like. but Can't did, be good. But whatever it was like. It Not doesn't, what, what matters is what that guy did in war. And so for that guy to be a special forces guy and they go from that into fighting and then just start running through the division. World class. Like almost immediately running through like world class scary. competition. Scary, That's though. scary. Yeah. Tim Kennedy, same shit. Tim Kennedy, same shit. Brian Stan, same, same shit. shit. Same shit. It's, there's a different mentality that those guys have. They're, they're soldier, Back. bro. Tim Kennedy was an animal. But I'm telling you, that Benoit Saint-Denis is next level. Oh, he, no, I'm all up on his French nuts. Bro, he's got furnaces going on in his eyes. You look in that guy's eyes, there's hell going on behind those I want eyes. a heart rate monitor on him when they're announcing his name. This dude don't give a fuck. Yeah, he's built for it. So him versus Dustin is very exciting. And bro, bro Dustin better Kudos be ready. Dustin. He better be ready to go. Dustin likes himself a fucking slobber knocker. He does, but you better be ready to go with that guy. You got to be ready to go because he's going to try to make a name on